hey, what's up, YouTube? Um, this is probably going to be a quick little tutorial. I'm going to show you how to make a cutscene. Oh, sorry, not cutscene. I'm going to show you how to make a start menu in Roblox with a fixed camera. Now, I know that a lot of other, you know, uh, YouTubers have done this, some others, but I feel like their way is just a little bit harder. So I'm going to try and show you the simplest way possible you can do this. So step one, you're going to go, you're going to insert a part. And you're just going to rename this to cam part, and you're going to go to starter GUI, you're going to insert a screen GUI, and you're going to insert a local script. Now we'll start the scripting in a minute, um, but first I'm just going to scale down my part right here. Just make it, um, uh, hold on, I'm having some technical difficulties. Um, Alright, it's fine now. So... Just scale this a little bit to your camera size. And if you want to see how this will look when you enter the game, you can just look right here and look through it. And now you're probably going to want to, you know, make some kind of scene or something in front of it. Something that will tell the players what the game is about. For now, I'm not going to make anything like that. I'm just going to put a big bluish brick right here. I'm just going to anchor all of this. So now we're going to go back into our local script, and we're going to start scripting. So I already have this script done, but I'm going to just retype it for you guys. So first we're going to type local space camera equals game.workspace.currentcamera. And then we're going to enter down, and we're going to type local space players equals game.player. Um, players dot local player. We're gonna enter down again, and we're gonna repeat. Wait until players dot um, player dot character, and then we're gonna enter down. We're gonna do camera type equals scriptable. And then we're going to do camera dot C frame equals game dot workspace dot cam part dot C frame and then enter down and put um, script dot parent dot enabled equals true. And I'm just going to go down here. Oh, wait, one more thing. Um, this says local players. Change this to local player. And hold on. Also, make sure that player up here is capitalized. And, and the final thing is make sure camera is capitalized. Right here and right here. Now we should be good. Okay, so when we join the game, what should happen? Our camera should be fixed on this brick and it should be looking at that blue part so let's try that right now all right and it works our camera is fixed um we just can't see the blue wall because it's facing backwards um, it's facing that way, so we just have to flip the camera around and then we would be facing the blue wall. But this does work. And now if you want to know how to make the play button, you know, so then um, it switches the camera back to the player. What we're going to do, we're going to go right back into our local script. And we're going to do, um, right here, first of all, go to screen GUI, insert a text button. And we're going to go back to workspace. We're going to scale this. You can customize it. I'm just going to leave it like this. And we're going to go back and we're going to do script dot parent dot text button dot mouse button one click colon connect function and we're gonna write um camera dot camera type equals enum dot camera type dot custom and now we're gonna enter down we're gonna do camera dot camera subject equals game dot players dot local player 
and then dot character colon wait for child and this change character to a um, uppercase C and then humanoid and now this should work so if we play this with this script and everything in place um, then once we press the button um, the view will return back to normal onto our player So use it and then button and then there we go. And if you want to make the button disappear on click, which is, you know, what most of the time happens, obviously we're going to go to text button, click the little plus sign, insert a script. And this one's real simple, right? Script dot parent dot mouse button, one click colon connect function. And then uh, script dot parent dot visible equals false. And we're just going to play this right now and it should work. can see here we are and then we press it button disappears and yeah that's pretty much it uh, thanks for watching i hope this helped you guys out and don't forget to leave a like and subscribe